Why does knowing the hidden God everything? To answer this, we have to turn to our own traditions. First, let us show how life cycles have occurred on the earth as demonstrated by chaos, the images of the deities, the images of Shatter, divine royalty, the return to chaos because of the rule of Shatter that began 6,500 years BCE and the effects and events of the great will and why you must be transformed to es escape the effect and negative effect of the big will of life. Why does knowing the hidden God everything who can give us crystal clear clarification about the hidden God? Who is the hidden God? Is there a hidden God? Or rather, who is the hidden Shema Nebeja? What is a deity? Apologies for using the term God. We are using the term God in context of our introductory book to the understanding of this creator, the creator or a God, which you can get from Amazon. To answer this question, we would like to first and foremost look at popular religion. Christianity is one of the most popular religions on the earth. We want to ask them, do they know the hidden God? What is the importance of knowing the hidden God or the hidden creator or the hidden deity? Christianity is confused. They do not know anything about the hidden God because they are attached to the unholy trinity frequency in which the concept of trinity appears to have been shoehorned via synods together in a very ridiculous manner where they wanted to incorporate monotheism and polytheism in one doctrine as one practice which is impossible three persons in one being every professing christian believes in the triune god is he hidden no does sacrificing one of its third of the three in one prove that they were able to extricate themselves and reveal themselves and at the same time remain hidden no remember when we say god here we are speaking of deity, man-made, natural, or eternal. Of course, the whole notion is the most ridiculous, insupportable, incredible nonsense ever imagined by any human being. To state it with crystal clear clarity, a monotheistic God is a single God with no mysterious separate parts or split personalities. Christianity is not monotheism. It is polytheism. Total polytheism. Disguised with monotheistic talk. The only people who do not understand this. Are Christians themselves. So Christians are lost. Since they are wrong and confused. They can never uh, give us crystal clear clarification. About the hidden God. Whose knowledge to us. And in us. Is everything. What about the Jews? Can they give us a clear crystal clear clarification about the hidden God? Do they know who is the hidden God? Jews and Hebrew Israelites worship a tribal deity known as the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. This tribal deity cannot be universal. The Hebrew text often refers to God by his Canaanitish name Elohim. And Elohim is plural. Let no man tell you otherwise. The nomen propium El is also the code name that has been used by the Arabs. It means the strong one. El is not hidden. The god El is not a hidden deity. He said he is the father of us all. There he is erect here. On an altar in Genesis 33:20, El Elohe Israel, that is God, the God of Israel. So he's not hidden deity. Originally, another term that has been popularized is Yahweh, and you can see here Yahweh riding his chariot. He's not hidden. El Shaddai, possibly meaning He of the mountains, is also not hidden, because they wanted to mix monotheism and polytheism. Christianity. And the, its Bible tried very much to do so. 
but contradictions came out galore. In Genesis 32:30, we hear and we read that someone saw the face of God and was able to live. Yet in Exodus 33:20, we are told that no one can see the face of God and live. But we know that Moses, Aaron, Nadavu, Abihu, and the 70 elders of Israel saw the God of Israel. So he's not a hidden God. Therefore, Hebrew Israelism and Judaism can never give us a crystal clear clarification about the hidden God of whom a correct knowledge in us is everything. No, they can teach about a deity, a mountain deity, and a wrestling deity, not the true creator. What about Islam? Maybe they know. If our primary aim is finding that which gives us crystal clear clarification about the hidden God and who is the hidden one, Islam cannot uh, do that. Because while they reject the Trinity and they claim to worship only Allah, yet the Christian God is somehow equated to their God and as well as the God of the Jews. The Jewish and Christian prophets, especially Jesus, is accorded very high status in Islam. We know that Muhammad and the Quran are seen as correcting the errors of Judeo-Christianity. But why would God's original prophets write errors and mix errors if they were divinely inspired? Why would they talk about Jesus? Because we have evidence that there has never been a man that ever walked the earth in human form, creed or color by the name of Jesus Christ. This was taught to us by one of our great teachers with evidence, Dr. Walter Williams. So, at the end of the day, we look at the Quran and realize that it is full of errors. The virgin birth is one such error. We know Jesus never lived. That he was crafted by the Greeks from combination of Apis the bull in ancient Hamid, Apisa and Ausari, the ancestor or the divinity, to come up with Serapis or O Serapis. And then when you read Isaiah 7, 14, which says a young virgin shall give birth, we know that they made an error of translation. It is Alma or a young woman of marriageable age. So Islam can never give us a clear crystal clarification about the hidden God, about whom correct knowledge in anyone or any individual and correct perception of that is everything. No, they cannot teach us about a deity that causes wars all over the earth and support mistranslations and support a deity called Jesus that never lived. And the virgin birth, that was a corruption and a copy of other ancient religions. So, where can we turn to so that we can somehow know the issues about the hidden God who is everything? Maybe in Sumeria, maybe the Anunnaki's. If we get the Sumerian deities list, they too had deities, no hidden one. In Enki and Enlil, there were divinities with similar names to Ankh. And early, Anu, their sky god, is similar to our own name. Anu, or Bantu. Anunnaki means Anu. Naki means nice or beautiful, which means Anunnaki, beautiful people, beautiful humans. There is no hidden divinity there. Sumerians were known as black-headed ones, not hidden. They never left any civilization worth to talk about. We know the only thing that have given to the world are the days of the week, which are ruled by the seven Sumerian gods. The Sumerians had seven gods as rulers of the planets, not hidden. They are Utu, a Bantu name, Nana, a Bantu name, Gugulana, a Bantu name, Enki, a Bantu name, Sinkai, Enlil. A bantu name Inana or Inunu, a bantu name Niniruta, a bantu name. These Sumerian gods 
are the origins of the seven day week in all the world cultures in ancient times except in ancient Hamid, in ancient China and in the Americas where our ancestors kept a 10 day week that's a key if we wanted to discover research and know the hidden one you can't go to Sumeria because Sumerians were a corruption of Hamitic civilization archaeology proves that they had nothing and they left nothing what is the pyramids are still standing they wrote on clay they never developed from clay we developed to paper no they can never give us clear crystal clarification about the hidden god about whom correct knowledge and perception in us is everything no they can teach us about other deities so we now turn back to our own traditions with the sources that can give us a crystal clear clarification about the hidden deity, the hidden God, Chema Nebeja. This term Nebeja is an inference to that which transcends consciousness. This was said by Sehu Kepera Anki. There were no pictures about Chema Nebeja, no images, no descriptions. Absolutely nothing save only human and spiritual desire and efforts to take their understanding to the only attribute bordering on oneness and creation. There is a chasm, a division. Even the gods do not know the full nature of that which is not spirit or that which is not a being. It is the unseen hidden force which is transcendent and yet animates the entire universes not universe universes in effect one might say that verily thou art a hidden one the neberja of hamid and that he or she or it these are only positional terms because human language demands that we use them but they do not apply to the unseen creator is before all things it's before the waters of Nunu. And by him all things consist and are held together through a secondary force. Is the king eternal? Is he immortal, invisible, the wise one to whom honor and glory forever and ever? Amen. That's the name that he was given by our ancestors. And Amen is a Hamitic word, a burnt word, which means hidden. Hidden and known. The same is the band word Hameno. So when you say Hameno, that's the correct name. It's also cognate of Amun. Understanding Amen is the master key to perceiving the hidden one. The name Amen, meaning hiddenness, indicated the unknowable essence of the God whose power and authority were far beyond human understanding the name amunu more fully meaning that which a human mind can conceive and try to conceive is hidden unlike all other competitions competition gods and divinities and ancestors who were immanent in the phenomena of nature immanent meaning remaining within inherent indwelling abiding intrinsic internal or subjective hence limited in activity agents or effect to the subject or associated acts opposed to eminent, transitory, transitive or objective. The creator, the real creator has nothing to do with immanence or immanence or transitory. It's beyond human explanation. The book of coming forth by day written during the new kingdom states in spell 165 Oh, Amen! Thou hidden of aspect mysterious of form they say you emerged first you inaugurated from the start a man amunu amen whose name is hidden from the gods oldest elder more distinguished than these in chapter 100 the one who initiated existence on the first occasion amunu or ameno who developed in the beginning, whose origin is unknown, no God came into being prior to him. 
no other god was with him who could say what he looked like this is why knowing the hidden one is everything because religions love to control you religions want to be credible to tell you what to dress to tell you what to eat to tell you to control you to use baffling jargon and to drive you into paradoxes the creator is not a spirit or a being it's beyond lives beyond the chasm the creator is not a spirit is not a physical being doesn't need your praise doesn't need your prayers doesn't need you to know him fully Let's continue. When you know the hidden one. You know that you cannot praise the hidden one because why how do you praise the hidden one? You know that he is not God. He is beyond that. You know that you cannot sin against the creator, but you can sin against the gods, against nature and against the righteous ancestors. He arose uttering a cry that shattered the eternal silence. This was the first sound, the first word and the word was jahuti or taught the self created the logos who later married mahati so you need wisdom and you need mahati to balance your knowledge about the truth of the hidden one in chapter 200 of the book of coming forth by day we read about the secret of the hidden one One is Amun who keeps himself concealed from them who hides himself from the gods no one knowing his nature he is more remote than the sky he is deeper than the nether world none of the gods knows his true form his image is not unfolded in the papyrus rolls nothing certain is testified about him he is too secretive for his majesty to be revealed he is too great to be inquired after too powerful to be known people immediately fall face to face into death when his name is uttered knowingly or unknowingly his name is unknown there is no god able to invoke him by that name is unknown she is so like hidden of the name like his secrets so o aman ra who hides himself in his iris now he has come up now and manifesting and showing the proof of creation ba who illumines by means of his oracular wedged eyes who manifests a manifestation sacred one who cannot be known so we know that ra the orb of the sun is pointing us to the hidden one brilliant of visible forms who hides himself with his mysterious arc eyes mysterious one whose secrets cannot be known so you have to embrace the divine alchemy in the year 6259 a year when through divine alchemy you will enhance and embrace perception that will take you to the hidden one to the chasm when you perceive the hidden god you will know that you know that you don't know our ancestors teachings give us clear crystal clarification about the hidden god who is the hidden god he or she or it is still unknown the hidden shema neberja he is not she is not it is not a deity yes it's a high noon we rediscover the knowledge of the hidden one Amun. For more information about this, email us on join at marfado.com. Till we meet again, this is Hamanaja Topi, Priest Rabbi LM Tumizul. Siabonga, Tatenda, Enkos, Edupe, Asante sana. Discover the hidden God. Amen.